Hello everyone, I'm Drumat and today we're going to do a Tulia bot game, Tulia ADC, because I haven't done one of these in a while. And we're in flex, but not like silver flex, a bit higher elo than that. Strictly because I want to do the video in an environment that I can actually focus, because if I do the video in Grandmaster, then I'm going to probably int, because I'm focused on explaining what I'm doing. So, uh, yeah, it's about diamond level or so. Uh, I'm playing Tlia Bot, Tlia ADC, with Dark Harvest, Chip Shot, Eyeball Collection, Ravenous Hunt, Prince of Mike Up the Grace, and this room stats, Attack Speed because it feels less clunky, Armor because we're on Bot. We're against the Samira Galio, and I believe Dark Harvest works best here, you should always pick it on Bot, on support. And I don't really think Tlia support is that strong, I think Tlia Bot is stronger than support. Because right now the meta is towards the Enchanters, towards Jinx, towards Kog'Maw, towards stuff like that, Kai'Sa, Twitch. I believe rarely you will have success with Tulia support rather than ADC compared to, yeah, to that. But obviously she works on jungle, she works fairly decent on mid. And I'm gonna start Q. And being against Samira and Galio, I'm probably going for for Ludens because they don't really have well they have three tanky members but not like tank tank just sort of tankish so Landry would deal damage but it's not exactly a mandatory thing and after that we'll see probably gonna try to go for a ring so that we go for stacks and being too ranged Having a range support like Senna helps us. Level 1 is quite important, you need to get this Prio to get this early advantage if you can and to miss as few CS as you can. Get level 2 first, but careful because sometimes the jungler can come at level 3 or 2. Worth here when you're on bot and stop missing CS like I do. Although I missed only one, so I guess it's respectable. Use small Qs by the way to farm. And I'm going to do an earlier word, just to not have surprises, although Jarvan might come towards the scuttle. It depends really, it's, it depends on a lot of factors. I really love having, having a Senna, because she can set up CC for you, she can do the CC, she can do long range poke. Although, later on they'll probably beat us if you're not poking enough. So, I don't see the HP of that man! I hate when minions are above it, because I can't freaking see the HP. Alright, so Jarvan should go to golems if uh, he starts it topside. I didn't really track him, so I expect he did a standard red towards topside farm, okay. And we have a first button mid. I don't have W yet, we have a second blood on top. So right now, Samira is a very hard ADC to full stun lock. Okay, he pinged that. We can actually go there. So when the jungler pings like that, you could go here, you can check stuff. Okay. So he's mid. Okay, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. He's done. Full combo on top he hints it seems, but full combo on Jarvan. It's so predictable man, it's painfully predictable. So Warwick took Scuttle on top side so he knew, well obviously Jarvan is going to be on the bot side. So we went there, we checked, I'm trying. But now that we have the wave like this, don't, don't push, we can just, we can just chill, we can just chill. Just, just don't, 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 Chill. Because we have advantage, we have insane advantage here. Samira cannot get closer than this, okay? Not only that, she's behind. I'm getting, getting her. Okay, she healed. Let's get the Galio then. Oh man, this is painful. Okay. 
Where is the Warwick? He can beat both of them. He can beat both. Why is he not fighting? Yep, you won. I mean, on top, it's a bit of a rundown. But I guess... It's still in our advantage. Look at the wave. It's hard pushed towards this. So that's why I'm saying... But... <laughs> On top, my man just runs it down, so it's going to be on us to carry it. Already having three Dark Harvest stacks, having the Tome. The focus is to try to generally scale towards your Ludens. When you have Ludens, you have the most damage. That is if you don't have a support that can stun lock. If you have something like a Leona, it's just simpler to wait for her to jump in with the CC or for your jungler, and you can easily, easily, and you can easily, easily full combo. So that's what you want. We do have a Warwick, so I can follow his ult on his E. I have the Senna, I can follow up on her uh, spell, on her CC. And look! Look how hard it is for Samira to keep up with this. And her reactions are so abysmal to that. Ah, uh, what the thing that I want to talk about is that I generally ban Caitlyn. Long range champions are very hard to beat as Talia. Long range champions that have a dash. So I'm thinking Tristana, but if you press it correctly, it's fine. I'm thinking Caitlyn most of the time. And Samira is also a pretty niche counter strictly because of her W. And Morgana's E is annoying as well. So if you want to have a ban for your uh, bot lane experience on Talia ADC, one thing you could do is going for the Caitlyn band. Please be careful. Okay, you got this. You have smite in some seconds. If you lose it, it's pretty much on you. Top laner is probably dead again. I don't know why he doesn't stop. This zero ten so power spike is that it? But again, you can see this. I think Samira is filled. You can see that, and that can happen in solo queue with your opponents. So you can just easily abuse mistakes like that. And so we're gonna plant these minions into the tower. Oh, it's fine. They have time. If you wanna look where the wave is, you can look at your wave, so you know that the enemy wave will reach the tower or not, based on that. So I'm going for Ludens, strictly because I need the burst to deal with Gwen, although Lyandry would help with his self-healing. Okay, this is dead, he's dead. If somehow Atrox escapes here, I'm gonna be really impressed. I'm so glad, I'm so glad Warwick took that shutdown, because Yasuo will keep dying, that's non-negotiable. <laughs> But having the shutdown on Warwick means that we have more gold on the jungler that will actually visit us, that will actually help, will actually come for Drakes. So it's a good thing. I'm gonna cast a Q here. We have no vision on the Galio. Okay, we do. See? It was literally one one second later <laughs> on top. Okay, so we stun bot. What what my team should do is play around uh, play around Warwick, play around his ultimate, play around Rise. Our scaling on bot. We have infinite scaling on bot. We stomp. It's pointless for them to try any two versus two or three versus three there, because we already win on this side of the map. So really, there is no. No point. And it's expected now, if uh, Atrox is good, it's expected that he will teleport bot, so I have to think of it. And I still don't have my Ludens. So I'm gonna check it here. Back off, back off, back off. If I ping him, maybe he'll go back. I'm fine, he already casted the spell. 
and I'm leveling up here. I'm just throwing random cues. I want just to recall. To take this and recall, so I wanna do just that. Why am I inting? Why am I inting? Well, call an ambulance, but not for me. Uh, he has ult. I don't know why this game is so low elo. I really don't. <laughs> he got booped. He got so booped. I really expected this game to be of a higher elo, but I guess... I guess not. Diamonds, but not really diamonds. Although, you can see what you generally have to do from this kind of guide tutorial. You can see what are my flaws that I miss sometimes combo, sometimes cues. And you can focus on finding those mistakes uh, of yourself, basically. Because you probably won't do the same mistakes as I do, so you might, you might play better in hitting cues, but worse in hitting cannons and so on. Or recalling here, or... I don't know. So you gotta find these niches. Two vision words, because why not? People never buy vision words, guys. I preach them. They are insanely well, insanely good in value. You go before one minute before Drake, one minute before Baron. You get first there. You set up vision. You are Talia or another champion with some stun, some burst, some insane combo. You can use it all because you have vision control. They have to scout the vision. They have to risk. So you will always get ahead and always have advantage. And I want to go towards that Warwick. Yeah, we go there. We go there, man. We go there. They're gonna run, boy. Okay. So, I got Jarvan's combo. His low HP. I got the actual... Galio Flash, so we're good. Oh, what is Samira trying? Oh, I understand now. I really can see her point. Yeah, you missed that, but at least you gave me a shield. She went straight for it. Oh yeah, yeah. So he's still in thing. Can uh, can the the guy the Atrox can Atrox beat Fed Talia and Fed Warwick and Fed Rise? That is the question. I'm gonna say. I guess we're gonna take these plates. Plates are extremely overvalued, but they do a good thing. Basically, they carry you. Okay, I want. I didn't want to say overvalued, I want to say undervalued. People don't think in terms of plates. They are insane, man. They give you so much early advantage. When I'm playing Pantheon, I, I let's say the Shen just goes bot and gets a kill or two. Doesn't matter, I get three plates, the Shen can no longer play the lane against me because I have a thousand gold right now. Not that much, but still you get the point. So, I can go for a ring, which I will. And... I wanted to go for parts of Rabadon. I'm still gonna keep gold, although I dislike it. I got the ring so late. But we're still going to lose if the Atrox does Atrox things, because he's four levels ahead of me. That's because top laners have much more agency. But we can get we can get the soul. And we know for sure that the Samira won't really be useful. So we're gonna try to win there. Oh. All right. If you don't mind. I got straight out, man. Okay, we fight. We get the Atrox. We win the game. Holy moly. 
that self feeling is insane. All right, we won. I got the art truck, so <laughs> that was it. Meanwhile, Yasuo. You have so much Yasuo syndrome there, it's painful. I actually deal damage when I'm 10 0, so <laughs> don't know why that the trucks went like this. I mean, he did self feel a lot, but it was still a 3 versus a 1000. Um, she cannot see me here coming, so she's just gonna get instantly gutted. So what's your point? You don't hit the vision wheel from here because you don't have any vision whatsoever onto that. I'm getting tilted, man. Okay, Jarvan is dead. Nothing here. I can go for an instant... I can go for an instant... Uh, Mejais. Rock the plates. I cannot hit through that. I know that. Don't have ult. But I'm gonna be level 11 right now. That's pretty nice. And I'm the same level as their mid laner. So I was level 9 when Atrox was level 12. Again, I am level. Now I'm level 11 when Atrox is level 12. So he entered that fight. Basically lost all his advantage. So I go for flat burst. Because. In a way, it's a counter to heal because he doesn't have time to heal if I instantly burst him. Now, I think this guy will beat both of them if he has flash and uses it properly. And he probably just... Okay. I thought he hinted. Nah, yeah, he did. What is... This guy gave up. That's clear. much clear that he gave up okay can get Drake I'm gonna get Drake this is so unfair for them like normally normally they should have had free win if I pick normally this year I think they would have had a nicer time Can she steal? Nah, she cannot. Alright, my boy is dead on top. Although we have Yasuo which scales. So at least that is that, but... You can just stop hinting at some point, right? You just can do that. I'm going to get blue. Let's get that. Because Warwick is not gonna need it. I'm the carry, so bye. That was two Qs and the full combo. And snip snip. Snip snip. I'd say snip snip beats also Yasuo, but who am I to know? I don't know how much snip snip does. Okay, let's uh, repeat this experience. Is she gonna beat me? She's not gonna beat me because she doesn't have damage. <laughs> Although you shouldn't do that to a Samira that's that has at least one kill and is no 09. Coming. I know I can risk like this because she's insanely behind. Oh. Ah, okay. If you ult the god to guy, I mean, if you ult when I don't have the full combo, I'm not gonna win. But it doesn't matter. He can still kill the Warwick, though, I think. No, the Jarvan, never mind. Never mind, we have outscaled. We, we outscaled him insanely well, and I'm very fit, so. Just get this, and the game is absolutely done. But generally, on both. The best idea is to go for the surefire engages, to not overextend when not necessary, to try to get prior level 1, especially if you have a Senna like me, or a ranged, or a brand, or a Lux, or even an enchanter, because 
you will be able to Talia to get to get prio with the Q, with the wave pushing Q. And so now you can see he's already two levels on me. And he gets to the point where I need Rabadons to actually deal with him. Oh come on man. What is this? This is not the fun that I signed up for. You're not gonna beat or yeah with rise you beat. Yeah it's done. Or I know he heals heals, heals a lot but I don't know how much. Yeah okay. I lost all my stacks because I grid like a mother. <laughs> why why is this guy doing this? Really? Oh he hit the Gwen, I thought he was outside of the range. He can use it, he just use it, use it here. Warwick is insanely ahead. I don't think he put it in a nice way. I mean, yeah, it's fine. But that's not okay. I could have reached him. I was just thinking at this point. And I'm gonna need someone to stop the Galio Atrox thingy from murdering me. I do have now the actual the actual Rabadons. And I'm gonna I'm not gonna sell Magi's because I know I'm going to have fight in some seconds. Or I'm gonna one shot randomly someone. So I'm backing off. Because there is a there is a Drake, so I'm pinging Yasuo, pinging Yasuo so that we go here. You go back, you go back, you go back. Don't go for that. And they might be at Baron. So I got to Vision Words again, strictly because, well, my team doesn't buy that many. Although she has 51 Vision Control, which is very respectable to be honest. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. And maybe we just want this Drake. We're gonna do a 5 versus 5. You're gonna back off. You're gonna back off. Holy moly, this guy. Well, here is the thing that I was talking about. Flashing out. Getting the Gwen. As pointed out before, I'm just gonna one. We didn't even need Yasuo. I'm just gonna one shot someone and the game will be over. Because they don't have the macro knowledge to actually. to actually dodge. I don't think you wanted that, buddy. So I'm now at. 19 stacks or something. I don't cannot treat this too small <laughs> Need to make the screen bigger man So why we just said the, I'm gonna go in and missed everything but they still won cuz they didn't bother to work that bush I mean, okay Oh, come on. Well, why we can see her you could have killed her Losing the stacks once again because why not? Trolling everything. Uh, does anyone have anti heals? We do. We do on two people. Should I? Should I go for this? I could. Definitely could. But they surrendered, so uh, void stuff would have been the next thing on the menu. But I guess that's the game. So that is how I generally play Talia bot. That was in sort of a counter matchup, but with Senai, Galio was just rather useless. If they were good, they would have waited level 3, all in on me, dodge the W. So maybe proper engages and not get poked level 1. But that's something that I expect from Diamond Plus players or higher. And you probably see... Oh, you can see the screen. I don't even know my ELO man at this. I don't even know, but I've looked before, they have all platinum. These this guys, 3 of them are diamonds. So I don't know. Oh look, I got 
hearts and you can see it you can deal damage a lot more than your teammates i don't even want to count as soon as you run it down and it can work but it's definitely not an s tier pick it's just an a tier probably b tier pick with the proper support can be a s tier and it can work in full ad comps so you can go for that too thank you for watching i'm trumat and see you next time have a wonderful day week night wherever you are goodbye